In this video, we're going to multiply complex numbers. Let's look at 2i times 3 minus 4i. Multiplication of complex numbers is similar to multiplication of polynomials. So let's use the distributive property and multiply the 2i with the 3, which is 6i and multiply the 2i with the negative 4i, which is negative 8i squared. Do you remember what i squared was from our previous video, Introduction to Complex Numbers? i squared was defined as negative 1. So we can write negative 8i squared as negative 8 times negative 1, which is 8. So we get 6i plus 8, which we are going to write in standard form, which is then 8 plus 6i. In standard form, we always write the real part first, which is 8, and we write the imaginary part second, which is 6i. Let's look at another example, 5 minus 2i times negative 3 minus 7i. In this example, we are going to use the FOIL method just like we do with polynomials. So make sure that you multiply the real part and the imaginary part of the first parentheses by the real part and the imaginary part of the second parentheses respectively. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 and 5 times negative 7i is negative 35i. Negative 2i times negative 3 is positive 6i and negative 2i times negative 7i is positive 14i squared. i squared is negative 1 and 14 times negative 1 is negative 14. The next step is to combine real parts and imaginary parts. So negative 15 minus 14 is negative 29 and negative 35i plus 6i is negative 29i. And we are done with this problem. I want you to try the next two examples on your own. 5i times 1 minus i and 3 plus 4i times 7 minus 8i. 5i times 1 is 5i and 5i times negative i is negative 5i squared. Negative 5i squared is negative 5 times negative 1, which is positive 5. And in standard form, we get 5 plus 5i.
3 times 7 is 21. And 3 times negative 8i is negative 24i. 4i times 7 is 28i. And 4i times negative 8i is negative 32i squared. Negative 32i squared is negative 32 times negative 1, which is positive 32. Twenty one and thirty two is fifty three, and twenty eight I minus twenty four I is four I. And we're done with this problem. In the next video, we're going to talk about conjugates and the division of complex numbers. We'll also answer the question of whether it's possible to multiply imaginary numbers and get a real number by doing that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.